is Gabriella. I'm a physician assistant here at Trillium Creek Dermatology, and I'm here to talk to you about subarachic keratoses. Subarachic keratoses are benign lesions that sometimes may be mistaken for moles. These lesions are sometimes referred to as barnacles, wisdom spots, and age spots. They're most commonly found in middle-aged adults and older individuals. They can be various different colors and textures and shapes and sizes. The colors sometimes can range from different shades of brown to black to flesh colored and even light pink. The texture sometimes can vary from being rough in texture or smooth. These are again harmless growths and most people will actually develop these in their lifetime. Genetics and long-term sun exposure can play a role in the development of subarachic keratoses. Typically, they don't really have any symptoms to them, although sometimes subarachic keratoses can become irritated, inflamed, they can sometimes catch on clothing, and sometimes even bleed. Um, the only way to figure out if you have a subarachic keratosis is to have a full medical examination by your dermatology provider. In rare cases, a skin biopsy may be warranted if there's any question for concern on whether you have a subarachic keratosis or something else. Since subarachic keratoses are harmless, benign growths, technically they could be left alone without any further treatment. But if there's irritation, inflammation, or if there's just a cosmetic desire to have them removed, there's plenty of different ways that we can remove them in the office. One of the most common ways we can remove subarachic keratoses is by using a tool called a curette. This is where we scrape away the lesion where then it will be fully removed. A lot of times after removal of subarachic keratoses, you may develop more throughout your lifetime, so further treatment may be needed as well. In addition to using a special tool called the curette, uh, another way to remove subarachic keratoses is by performing a procedure called cryotherapy. This is using a cold spray that freezes the lesion where then it will scab and fall off within a week or two. In addition to removing subarachic keratoses, there are different ways we can help smooth out the appearance of them. This doesn't technically remove the subarachic keratoses, but they can help with smoothing out the texture, resulting in a much improved appearance of the subarachic keratoses. These include things like chemical peels, which we offer at Trillium Creek Dermatology. Another uh, topical you can use on your skin are things with alpha hydroxy acids, which include ingredients that have glycolic acid, lactic acid, and urea. Some of these products you can find on our H&H &H Science website and at all four of our H&H &H Science boutique office locations. It's always a good idea and highly recommended to have a skin check at least once a year. If you have any questionable lesions, moles, growths that you are unsure of the diagnosis, it's always a good idea to have a professional examine your skin. If you would like to make an appointment, feel free to call us at 330-725-0569 or visit our website at tcohio.com. Thank you.